Brother Barnes, your recovery Bible study guy, thinking about my state of mind when things just don't look good, when I am suffering from a lack of ease, when my brain has a dis-ease. This passage is very inspiring to me, and I hope it will be for you as well. So stay tuned for just a second, and let's break it down. Potiphar was furious when he heard his wife's story about how Joseph had treated her. So he took Joseph and threw him into the prison where the king's prisoners were held, and there he remained. But the Lord was with Joseph in the prison and showed him his faithful love. And the Lord made Joseph a favorite with the prison warden. Before long, the warden put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and over everything that happened in the prison. So I'm guessing Joseph did birthday parties for all the prisoners, probably. The warden had no more worries because Joseph took care of everything. The Lord was with him and caused everything he did to succeed. Here's what I'm thinking. Joseph had already been sold into slavery by his brothers. He was finally in a household where it looked like things were stable. His master's wife accused him of being inappropriate, which he was not. But it didn't matter. He was thrown into jail anyway. But while in jail, he made lemonade out of lemons. He had been falsely accused. And I'm thinking to myself just the other day, he already had an absence of dollars. Even being sold into slavery, winding up in this house, he had nothing. And then when he went to prison, he still had nothing. And what I know, though, is that he had hope. I do know that Joseph had hope. He had so much hope that he eventually helped the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. He, becomes, he became second in command in Egypt. So that eventually, hundreds of years later, when Moses left Egypt with the Israelites, he took Joseph's bones with him. Joseph said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. Joseph was looking at his life in an eternal context. That is what I just love. He wasn't thinking just about today. He was thinking about tomorrow. He was thinking about the future. Galatians 6 verse 9 says, So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Brothers and sisters, even when things don't look good, what is in front of you today. That is your mission. That is my mission. I'm encouraging you to encourage me. Take the next indicated step. Do the next right thing, even when things don't look good. This is Brother Barnes, your brother in the struggle. I love you. Keep coming back. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That is what creates a community.